Fitting that it should come down to these two. Olive in her familiar black, five times the champion. Mabel, the rising star, winner last year. You can see how excited they are, but also feel the tension. Get on with it. And here it's in the crowd as we near the start of this final. And now they go, Olive away first, but a problem with Mabel's ball. That might cost her now, having to play catch up. Oh, goodness. That's the video that started it all. Titled Dogs Breakfast turned Labradors. All of Mabel into internet stars with millions of views over social media throughout the lockdown. Their owner and sportscaster, Andrew Cotter, continued sharing the adventures of Olive and Mabel and even wrote their own adventures in a new book called All of Mabel and Me. And they have become a huge part of our feel good time. Joining us now from across the pond is uh, Mabel. Oh, and Andrew's there too. Yeah, no, but uh, you got the order right there, Tim. It is absolutely. I know my place in the billing, so yes, it's Mabel uh, and me, and Olive is there as well. Oh, there you, she's there she's just is. tucked in the corner, so she is there. We're all here, but uh, yeah, strange strange times, strange times for everybody. But even stranger when you decide to chat to your Labradors and put them online. Well, listen. First off, we have to say thank you, because I, I do this thing daily. It's a sports chat where we talk about what's going on in sports. Obviously. When sports ended, there was nothing to talk about. So I'm just like, what am I going to talk about? And then here is a sportscaster across the pond coming across kind of the same thing, I guess. You didn't yeah. have anything to do. Is that how this came all about? That is exactly how it came about. And to be honest, we're heading into the same kind of uh, situation at the moment. I was supposed to be doing um, a couple of rugby commentaries this weekend and next weekend, and they've gone in European rugby. And uh, beyond that, it's looking a little bit dicey. Hopefully by the summer, things will be back to normal with the Olympics and Wimbledon and the Open Championship and whatever. But this time, well, March last year, everything disappeared. So it was just kind of a case of, hey, I'm a sports broadcaster, but nothing left to commentate on. So here I am commentating on my dogs. That's what I've been reduced to. <laughs> What is it about Olive and Mabel that, is it, is it something about them or did you just, you were just out of pure boredom that you just kind of wanted to do something and their uniqueness and how they interacted <laughs> and did things with you and no, did nothing? I was I was trying to find the most mundane thing in my life to commentate on. And I say this with the best will in the world to you, my small dog. Uh, you are mundane. Uh, you're every day. They are every day. You know, dogs are our everyday things that just wander around the house. So I thought, I'll commentate on them. And that's the Game of Bones one, which is the second one. You know, this happens every day. Olive gets a toy. Mabel decides, I'm going to have that toy. And eventually she gets it. So I could have recorded that every single day. And then it kind of went on from there, just a walk. And then you transplant it into human situations, the Zoom meeting or, you know, um, Halloween or online dating or whatever it might be so she just wants this at the moment so um, yeah so it's just it was just sort of a theater of the absurd involving dogs for an absurd year so I think we've shown every video through our through our feel-good times are you commentating live on the videos are you seeing what they're doing and then going back <laughs> to the video Oh, you see, you're looking at that with a broadcaster's eye. Don't do that. Uh, don't, don't do that. Don't get forensic on me there, Tim. It's, um, so the uh, first couple of videos were pretty much done as they occurred. But then, of course, as you go on, you make them more complicated. And also you think, you must have done this. You must have done broadcasts where, uh, I'm not casting aspersions on your ability, Tim, but you must have done this where you've done broadcasts and you thought, do you know what, that was good, but I could have done this. I could have done it better. Yeah. So you go back and you tighten up a line or here and there. But then the recent ones where you're making little productions, they take, they take quite a lot of time. I mean, the Zoom meeting, which obviously went, pretty big as well that took a lot of uh, a lot of takes i mean this here look at yeah it's just nonsense isn't it i mean what am i doing well this is this, is this the, is this the only video where you're actually in it Yes, this is the only one where I'm in. Oh, no, I made a little mockumentary as well because obviously I'd gone, I'd gone completely mad by that point. So I made a mockumentary where I was sitting as one of the talking heads as well. But they are the only times I get seen. So the dogs get recognized in walks and I don't. I'm just going to let this play out. Yeah, okay, so, okay, for, for everybody at home, we're looking at the screen. All of us on the left and Mabel's on the right. And who's older, who's younger? Uh, Olive is older. You can see it in her careworn face. She's eight and Mabel's four now, so... And, and do they get along? Like, what happened when Mabel arrived on the scene? They do get along, yeah. There was about a week of Mabel going, what? on earth is going on here? I'm sorry, Olive going, yeah, she was, as Mabel arrived, because Mabel had just spent the first two months trying to eat Olive's face and ears and everything. So um, there was, a, there was a, a time where Olive was going, I'm not entirely sure about this. Look, I'll put up with it, uh, but I'm sure she'll be disappearing soon and it's fine. But then she just stayed and they get on famously now. They do actually enjoy each other's company. So as you can see, just uh, beside each other on the sofa, ruining the sofa with their muddiness. <laughs> uh, listen, we're running out of time. But hey, you wrote a book. There's a book. 
I did. Olive wrote it, actually. I just, uh, I, she ghosted it for me. So, no, there is a book. Yeah, I'm actually on the UK cover. I'm on the cover, but they cropped me out of the North American cover, which I, I actually agree with. I think, I think that was Olive's decision as well. But listen, it's all about the dogs and their um, beautiful idiocy. So it's all about the dogs. So I, you know, it was good fun writing it. It was something to do last year, and I've had some good feedback on it. So, hey, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy as get, a Labrador. You get, it's, it's really funny, but you get serious too about your love for dogs, and you grew up with dogs, and how much dogs mean to you, and how much dogs mean to all of us too. Yeah. And we have to ask you because Annette, one of our hosts, is a, is a cat fan. Are you a fan of cats oh. at all, or are you just a dog lover? I've had some I've had some negative feedback on online because people have read the book say I have a go at cats. I don't. I just say they they're a bit too intelligent and a bit too standoffish. I love all animals enormously, but dogs are just simple souls that will give you unconditional love. Cats will judge you. Cats sit back and they go, I'm judging you. <laughs> and I'm just not sure about you at all. You provide food for me and I will give you mm, a modicum of love in return, but I'll do so only reluctantly. So I love cats, but dogs a little bit more. Annette, you agree? Yes. Yes, Annette, yes. Annette agrees with that. Hey, listen, <laughs> you, thank you so much. Thank you oh. for entertaining us and entertaining everybody around the world. These, these have taken off. And uh, all of Mabel, hey. No, there, there is only one way to get their attention, Tim. Hang on a second. Oh, oh there you right. go. You got some biscuits? No, possibly. I mean, I'm not, I'm not above bribery. So here, <laughs> oh, here you go then. Here, oh. you go, right. there you go. there you go. You take that one and you take that one. That's oh, from, thanks, that, guys. That's from Tim in Canada, Ontario. No, it's near Labrador. <laughs> it's not near Labrador. <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> Thank right. you so much. Cheers. Continue. End, end with Cheers, the backsides there. Bye bye. <laughs>